My body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. My body lies over the ocean. Would you please stop screaming at me? Right. This elk's blowing my cover. Okay. I've seen enough, I think. Would you bugger off? Nope, alright. I'm just gonna move then. I guess I'm in his space. Anyway. So it looks like I've got two options. Barge in through the front door. Or try to be stealthy and figure out how Vex got in. I also need something to set those eyes on fire. Let's see if I do have a torch. Right. I'm thinking. I'll bring your force to send a message, right? And I'd like to send a message to Vex that I'm not trying to muscle in on her tw uh, on her turf. As a uh, a sneaky infiltrator type because that's not what I do so we're just gonna go knock on the front door I think this should be fun probably should have stopped to see if I have any potions hang on oh I've got wow look at that where did I pick these up You know, I don't really know. I don't really get. I could sell those. Probably should have sold uh, sold those first, but I intend to clear some of this place out, and I will sell whatever I find to the good folks of the Southwoods. That is quite pretty. All right. Early morning, broad daylight. Let's send a message, shall we? Good morning, gents. That's close enough. You're gonna That's let me in? That's close enough. Oh, I'm sure it is. But uh, I'm coming in whether you like it or not. Shit. Yeah, maybe I'm not. I'm warning you. I'm warning Back you. Off. Back off. You know. I don't think That's I will. Close I'm warning you. Back off. I'm warning you. Back I'm off. I'm warning you. Back off. Uh, or what? Never should have come here. All right. Just die. Uh, I'd rather not, thanks. I've got things to do today, you see. Die, you orc filth! You're gonna call me orc filth too? Show me what you've got. Ah, you with the arrows, you're getting really annoying. Ah. Oh, hello. Alright. Just a scratch. Oh, all right, with a wall hammer. I fought worse than you. Are you sure about that? You're a dead woman. Show me what you've got. There's one. Not impressed. Die, damn you. There's two. Oh, come on. And there's three. You yeah, got blood all over my chest. Ugh. And you crushed the ribcage just right. That was it. Alright. I would. 
Any of you swords got anything uh, useful on you? Like gold? That was a uh, I think I've had shipboardings more uh, eventful than that. <laughs> oh, there we are. Get that open. Make it a little easier if I have to retreat in a hurry. Wait a minute. No, let's just... Well... You know, if uh, if Vex was struggling against this, oh, there's torches all over the place. Just noticed they bolted down. They're not well. Good. You know what? I'm taking him. Uh, that lantern looks like it's not going anywhere. There's another one. Hello, friend. That's all you've got. Not really. You don't have a chance. Oh, hello. Ooh, you look like you mean business. That's what I like to see. Eh, yeah. sort of mean business. That's some nice armor you got there. Just a bit clunky for the likes of me, but eh. oh, I thought oh, it was on the thing. I took it already. Ah, look at all these flowers. Oh right, the bees sort of need uh, something to eat, right? I don't know how bees work. Sorry, bees. Um. Committing a bit of arson today. That'll do. Now put the torch away before we burn the whole place down, right? We don't want that. Look at that. Oh, hello. Figured I might attract a bit of attention. Look at you. You don't have a chance. Really? Come at me, then. Not every day you can take someone's head off with an hammer. None of you have any gold on you. What's Erin Gulf paying you, anyway? Beautiful. Stunning. <laughs> That's what we like to see. Oh, oh that's going to be visible from miles away, isn't it? Salt. That's always useful. Not like I don't have plenty of salt in my life, but, <laughs> you know. Right, what else have we got here? Some sort of lookout platform. Nice place to go fishing. What if it's over there? Yeah, someone's up there. Camping. They did, they got blood all over me. That's fine. Eh, uh, actually. You know, I would go take a dip, but I don't know if I can get back up again. And I'm surely going to get more blood on me in the course of dealing with thick... Uh, Subway killed an innocent chicken. And it wasn't me. <laughs> oh well. You cook the eggs, eh? Don't let those go to waste. Oh, nice. Got 
all sorts of equipment and uh, amenities and dinghy cargo hauler of some sort it's just occurred to me that maybe I shouldn't be robbing this place considering uh, oh I'm too tall for this crap all right Considering it sort of belongs to Maven. And we're not supposed to be crossing Maven. Right? <laughs> so. Yeah, maybe not my smartest move ever, but. Oh well. Alright, let's see who's in here, shall we? So far. It's empty. I do not care about any of the septims. Right, let's not rub this place blind. It does sort of still belong to Maven, in a way. Short hallways. Hello? A lot of eggs said this place with crawling with guard. What the crap, Vex? Oh, there's one. Is someone there? Oh, there's two of you. All right. Oh, free. All right. I'll have your head. You'll try. I'll make you pay. That's that's a lot of people. Oh, back it up. There's not enough room to swing in here. Come on. Be polite. Now. You weren't polite. I had to take your head off. Sorry about that. Seriously, is Aaron Golf not paying you? Oh. Sorry, Maven. Made a bit of a miss. Uh, there we go. Easy. What's in here? Eh, not bother not worth bothering with. Oh, something here. Ah, come on. Come on, you rusty old thing. There we go. So, what's down here? A basement? Let's clear the top floor first, I don't want anyone coming in behind me. Not like I can't probably handle them. Something tells me Brynjolf didn't want me on board just for my silver tongue and my uh, pickpocketing skills. <laughs> or lack thereof. Oh. Sorry. Eh, not really sorry. I've got myself turned around. This place is a maze. Sort of. Someone, someone had to design this place, and I don't know who, but... Right. Here we go. Heh. <laughs> Someone's got a different sort of mead in here. Oh, that wasn't worth bothering with either. Alright, Maven, you get to keep your gold. Or well, Erringolf, I suppose, gets to keep his gold. I don't know. Hi there! 
never <laughs> To be fair, he didn't attack me first, there? but... Hi, where are you? Is someone there, he asks, and then doesn't go investigate to see if someone's there. I mean, to be fair, I told him I was here, but... Where are you? Damas? Just follow the sound of my voice. You'll find me eventually. You can't hide from me. I'm not trying to hide, I'm just walking here. Huh? Oh, there you are. Time to end this little game. <laughs> ha! Ha! Hey, you watch can't what you're doing. doing. Watch what I'm doing, he says. I'm watching. There you are. I'm getting out of here. That sounded like one terrified elf to me. Oh, look at that. It's a big old coin purse. Thank you for your donation. Short ceilings in here. Right then. That was quite possibly the flimsiest lock I've ever seen in my life. Oh. You must be Eringolf. Worthless mercenaries. I didn't think Maven or Mercer would allow me to get away with this, but I had little choice. Here's how this is going to go, right? I don't want to kill you. In fact, I've been sort of explicitly instructed not to kill you unless you get in my way. All I want is the key to your safe. I've been told there's a safe somewhere. I assume it's downstairs. So, you give me this key. You walk away. I don't lay a finger on you. Savvy? I can't. If I do, I may as well cut my own throat. And what makes you think I won't cut your throat for you? Besides the fact that I've got a war hammer and not a knife. I don't believe you. That's not your way. Are you sure about that? Alright, fine, I'll open it myself. No! I'm not about to let you ruin everything I've worked so hard for. Is someone there? Alright. I'll let you put up as much of a fight as you can. You're really bad at this sort of thing. You know that, right? I suppose it doesn't really matter. What's this hammer made of, anyway? Thank you. Take that. He's sitting here with a bow and he attacks me with a dagger. There we go off. What are you on, sir? You, little thing. Yeah, I wonder if someone at the guild would be interested in that. A bean a jar. That is terrifying. I think I'm just going to leave that there, to be honest. Oh, sorry, I think I just stepped on you. Right. Oh, well, hi. Uh, what have we got here? Besides pickaxe, don't need a pickaxe. That'll do. Right, so that was, uh... Anticlimactic. Right, where's that table with a bunch of gold on it? I think now that Eringolf's dead, there's not really any sense in keeping it here. Because he's the only one who knows it was there, to begin with. 
So. Might as well take the uh, small donation. How are we doing anyway? Yeah, I wonder if I could hire. Uh, wonder if I could hire a crew. Or at least some dark workers. I'm I heard that. And when I do, never should have come here. Now Hello. Uh, you gonna find me? Are you? You can't hide from me. He says I'm trying to hide. Come on in here. Let's have a party, shall we? It'll be a real bash. Ooh. Oh, that was a good hit. Never underestimate the power of a woman with a big stick. Well, that didn't uh, last long. Was that the reinforcements? Rather, was that supposed to be the reinforcements? Laughable, I say. Simply laughable. Oh, there's more to this place. Come on. Alright, I'll give you a second to collect yourself. We'll see if that actually no, holds true. Not like this. Come yeah. on. Alright. I fought worse. Sure you have. That's what they all say. And then that happens. Oh jeez. Seen people twitch after I take their heads off, but that was something else. All right, <laughs> that was special. Well, hey, look at you! All right. See, I sell that, but I don't know who in this province has enough gold to buy it. <laughs> Seems like everyone's a bit down on their luck these days, so, uh... Whether take pity on the merchants and not buy them out for all their coin... Yet. Do kind of fake killing the quiet ones. Oh, well. Sorry about that, sir. I, uh. sort of got my hammer stuck. Didn't mean to take all your clothes with it. That's just rude. Ah. Right. Here, we have things. Not a lot of things, but things. Look at that. Ooh. Now. Who did you sell this to, Erringulf? Property has been made in full by Gadjul Lai. Uh, deter any possible retribution for this act, you have to take immediate steps to protect our assets. <laughs> Sorry. Far more bark than bite. Well. I mean, to be fair to them, I didn't bite anyone. Interesting. 
Ooh, who's in here? Oh, is this the sewer that Fex was using? That comes out right by the safe. How did she... Oh. Right. That makes sense. It does come out right by the safe, but you have to be tall enough to reach that. And I don't think Vex is tall enough to reach that. <laughs> Alright, that's good to know what that is. Okay. So. Beehives thoroughly torched. Well, thoroughly-ish. Grounds cleared. Uh, now I'll just go wander back to the guild, I think. Right. On back to the guild. See if I can sell any of the junk that I picked up. And, uh. Yeah. See who, uh. See if anyone knows who that, uh. Little mark on that paper belongs to. Sort of looks like the symbol for Riften, so maybe the Yarrow has something to do with this? I don't know. And back out through the front door. Meh. <laughs> now I bet Brynjolf didn't expect that, did he? Wonder if that yellow deer is still over here. Something looks like it might be dead. No, that's a spider. We're gonna go around the spider. That was a lucrative uh, thing, maybe. Oh, I'm still covered in. Hang on. In we go. There she goes. Much better. Don't really want to walk into Riften. Foggy with the uh, all covered in blood and whatnot. Oh wow. Ooh, that's some fog. Jeez. Good god. This one's a favourite of mine. A legend we all know and love. The, uh, the fog rolls in in Riften and it really rolls in. Right, there's a trader around here somewhere, isn't there? I think so. I think there's them right up there. Maybe? Our hero, our hero. Well, I'm incredibly confused. Uh, excuse me. Is anyone home? Alright. Hello? How can I help? Uh. Farewell. What the god is that sound? Excuse me? This better be important. Eh, uh, you wizards or something? Hmm, very observant of you. I was a retainer to the Great House Telvani, when that name still meant something in Morrowind. Then the eruption of Red Mountain destroyed most of Vardenfell, and I chose to live my life on the road, rather than suffer the indignity of the Grey Quarter. Surviving 200 years in Tamriel gives a sorceress plenty of opportunity for practice. 
Eh, right. Uh, I'll leave you to your mage business then. Very well. Yeah, fair enough, I have still Vani. They're kind of... Strange folk, honestly. Uh, I don't know what I'm hearing, but I don't like it. <sighs> Rifting in the fog. As if this place couldn't get any spookier. Definitely not the creepiest place I've ever seen. However. Oh, here's a trader. You know what? I'm just gonna go see Delvin. Because, right, Tanuli is a fence, right? In theory. Hello. In theory, I should stop talking to myself while there's guards around. <laughs> to be honest. Right, to the flagging. Does look like that, doesn't it? Boy. Stealth in this weather would be easy. Incredibly simple. Let's see if they've cleared the bodies yet. Nope. Alright. Someone's got to do something about that. That someone might end up being me. I am sort of the low man. On the ropes. So, oh, no women on the ropes, I suppose. This is not a tall person friendly door, is it? All oh, right. Uh, oh, I've still got jobs to do for double effects. Uh, right. Don't get angry with me. Still got your job on my mind, but... So, what could I do for you today? I figured Golden Glow was a bit more of a pressing issue. Also, do you happen to know if anyone would be interested in this thing? Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. There you go. They should cover it. All right. Thank you very much, Delvin. Don't forget you're representing the guild. Don't do anything stupid. Me? Stupid? Surely you jest. Well, I mean... <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Do have my moments. Not gonna lie. Think we all have our moments of being absolute. Nope. Oh. Right, that just opens. Well, that's kind of cool. Who has that on a spring or something? Duh. That lantern is going to be the death of me someday. Well... This brin's not hard to find. I should probably talk to some of these other... Eh, I just got to say blokes. I think it's mostly blokes. Hard to tell with the outfit, but... Eh, anyway. Hello, Bryn. Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, lass. Eh, uh, thanks. Uh, here's what was in the safe. I did take a peek at it. Sorry about that. Let me take a look at what you found. Arangarth sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? Uh, nope. I was sort of hoping you knew. Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. <laughs> oh, good. 
did I? Uh, you know, I was sort of uh, thinking it might have been a bad idea to just crash through the front door like that. Uh, was that something that I did wrong? Uh, no. Nothing like that. You're calling on her for business. Oh, gods. What does Maven want from me? That's between you and Maven, and I prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. Oh, gods. How does Maven know me by name, you know? Don't answer that. But there's a way out over here, isn't there? Might as well take the secret tunnel entrance thing. Mostly to see where this goes, right? Right. Where is this place? Oh. <laughs> oh dear. So... Nothing quite as spooky as walking out of a mausoleum in the fog. Ominous. Right, where am I going to find Maven? Let's try the bee barb. Because that's where most people end up, I think. Probably. This is creepy. <laughs> uh. Oh. Sure, sure. I'm a dirty beggar. Why would you want to even speak to me? I'm so sorry about that. Here you are. To oblivion with all of you! You rich piles of dung walking by us like we're not there, pretending we don't exist? How dare you! To be fair, it is rather foggy and I sort of didn't see you, but here, hopefully this makes up for it. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Oh, no, thank you. Until next time. Sorry for running into you, mate. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Uh, thank you. That's not what I'm here for. Hey, Taylor. Where? Oh, where? Would Miss Blackbriar be? Going to make an educated guess. So, uh... Oh, sorry about the cup. Hey, Taylor, Get off your lazy tail and take care of the customer. Keep your scales on. I'll give him a minute and then we can talk business, eh? Do you want anything? You want a drink? Uh, no, but thanks for taking care of us. Just get out of here. Aye. Yeah. Sort of what I get for not spending money, eh? So, what do you want to see me about? So you're the one. Hmm. You don't look so impressive. Well. Disregarding that, how about we skip this small talk, eh? You're a firebrand, aren't you? It's about time Brynjolf sent me someone with business sense. I was beginning to think he was running some sort of beggar's guild over there. Heh. <laughs> you don't have much faith in him, do you? Faith? I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no grey area. Well, that's not very creative of you. Anyway, speaking of jobs, what do you want me to do? Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. The Bannered Mare in Whiterun. Hey, that's good. I've got a job there. So... Your name carries weight in Riften? Of course. Nothing gets done without my approval in this city. I have the Jarl's ear and the guards in my pocket. Anyone makes trouble for me and I pay a visit to the Thieves' Guild. 
Make me angry and I contact the Dark Brotherhood. You do well to remember that the next time you make such a stupid observation. That's not stupid. Well, it might be from where you're sitting. So, uh, right. Skipping the small talk then, eh? So you're our maven. One more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job, and you will be sorry. Eh, uh, noted. I are Miss Blackbriar. No butcher in here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get as far out of town as quickly as I possibly can. That sounds suspiciously like a death threat. Right, I'm gonna be on my way in that case. <laughs>